Hey guys, today I'm going to dispel a very popular notion among Magic the Gathering YouTubers, especially those who are sponsored by TCG Player, that TCG Player, su supporting TCG Player will also support your local game store to the same extent. Now there's many ways I can go about attacking it, but I'm gonna attack it from just numbers. Let's say a Falia is $20. So maybe she is, maybe she's not. I'm just using this as the example, so don't attack the number. I know a lot of you probably will want to. Falia is $20. Let's say your, your local game store buy list is here for 10. And then on TCG Player, we can try to sell her because we have to be the lowest seller. We can't sell for her for 20 because that's TCG Mitch. We have to sell her for 15. Well, $15 uh, again, simple math. I'm going to just take 10% fees from TCG Player. That would be a dollar fifty. And if we had to ship this card with uh, with tracking, it probably would cost another two dollar. Let's say a dollar fifty, just to make it simple. So we would pay TCG Player a dollar fifty, and we'd pay shipping a dollar fifty. So this card that we bought for ten dollars from our local game player, we would be able to make two dollars from. Because we would pay a dollar fifty for shipping, and dollar fifty in fees, which could include PayPal, or and or TCG player fees. Now, yes, this made us some money, but we also have to subtract labor. So someone had to post it. Uh, maybe it was automatically posted by e-commerce. Maybe it was not. Someone has to package it and ship it. There has to be a store employee, a full-time employee who is probably doing this. So from what I understand of Dariums, they have people who do it. Like Dan, he just ships it. And you have to pay him to do it. So the question of how many hours it takes kind of depends on volume, but there is a non-zero fee associated with shipping it. So you're only making $2.00 you have to subtract how much it costs your employee to package. And on top of it, what if the person who receives this file layer doesn't like the condition and they need a return? Well, then you're going to lose money. You will lose money on this. And this is something I fear a great deal. So your local game store, which is barely making, barely getting by to begin with, has to offer the cheapest price ship it and be lucky enough for it not to be shipped back with any problems or god forbid a bad review now a lot of people assume that this is good this is a good system but this system already exists on ebay and amazon so it would be like support your local game store but buying stuff from amazon because sometimes it could be from a local game store the definition of your local game store is your local game store. It's not someone else's. And this concept is vastly lost on online. Card Kingdom is not my local game store, but it could be yours. My local game stores barely have any websites. I mean, it's, it's pretty horrendous to be quite honest with you. I've talked to many people who want to sell me inventory and most of them don't have websites. They do sell via TCG Player, which is, I guess, good for them, but the margins are much lower than they sold via website and didn't have to pay all these fees. Now, TCG Player is not bad. I'm not going to say that you shouldn't buy from it, but I will say that buying from TCG Player, even if you buy directly from the local game store, Taking this extra two to three dollars away from them is a lot. That, as a percentage, is a huge margin on what they make. Because remember, they're not buying the card for a dollar. They're buying the file for ten dollars, and then trying to sell it for fifteen. And then shipping, insurance, employee time—all this has to be considered. They may be making a dollar or two if they're lucky. They could be losing money if it comes damaged or something bad happens to it. So at the very end of the day, TCG Player, like many of you think it's your local game store, I don't understand how 
that's possible. It would be like thinking Amazon is your local game store just because you're a store stores, local game stores that are not your local game store sell on Amazon or eBay. Or Mass Drop. It would be like, hmm, Mass Drop is my local game store. Your local game store is that place that you go and you sit down and you play, you meet friends. That is your store. That is your store. Sometimes you pay a little bit more. Sometimes you don't have the best experience. But at the core end of the day, that's your home, right? I mean, where else are you going to go? Most people are not lucky enough to have a play group that they can play at. I'm fortunate enough to have a play group, but I still like going to game stores because it's fun to meet new people. Now, I never tell people who I am, which is, you know, <laughs> I don't like it when people know who I I don't know what, what it's kind of weird. I'm, I went to GP Houston last year. I'm not going this year. Not last year, last two years. I'm, I'm pr- probably not going to go unless a lot of you want me to go and meet up and have lunch again. Um, I wouldn't, I definitely am not going to play at the main event. And, uh, yeah, there's probably no reason for me to actually attend the uh, GP Houston because otherwise I would just sell cards to them. But at this moment in time, it's, you know, it's, I can sell cards via my website, right? Hopefully, should it be up. So at the end of the day, like, hello, female, my name is Weds, and this date is bought to you in part by TCGplayer.com. I mean, I know it's sarcasm and a joke, right? I've been uh, flamed very hard for not getting Tolarian's quote joke. But at the same time, is it really a joke? Is it really sarcasm? So I have ordered from TCG Player. Whenever I do buyouts, I like to use TCG Player. But I've never confused it for supporting my local game store. Your local game store is not making a lot of money from selling boxes on TCG Player. They make a lot more margin selling boxes to you and your store. And you might complain and you might say that you can get cheaper elsewhere. But eventually your store will go belly up. And there will be no place for you to play anymore. I know this from Groovy Geckos which is my local game store. And that's why I have such a different view from this than Wedge or Tolarian. I I played in my local game store every Friday for years before I moved away. And I loved it. I had a Wizard of the Coast local game store and I loved it. I have loved every single one of my local game stores, no matter how poorly it's, it's treated me. And some of them have treated me incredibly poorly because I love the community. You cannot have a community of tcg.player.com. I would love to see that community. I would love to see it. Um, Some people have said that you can play Magic at Walmart, and I still have never received a picture, although I've received many, many people saying that they play at Walmart all the time. I still haven't received a picture. Like, if you were opening unopened packs at Walmart, wouldn't they just say, hey, I'm going to arrest you because you probably stole that product? You could show them a receipt, but then they would be like, what are you doing? So I don't mean that you're playing, like... I could see a scenario where someone fakes an image, but I cannot see a scenario where you're there for six to eight hours until, like, 4 a.m. at night. I know Walmart is open 24 hours. Mine, Walmart, is as well. So it's very convenient when I need to get late night dog food and stuff like that. But they're not your local game store. The whole idea of TCG Player being your local game store is the same as Amazon or eBay, right? Would anyone say Amazon is your local game store? Just because your local game store is on TCG Player, trust me, they would much rather sell the same volume in person. Because that's a real life, that's a retur- that's a repeat customer. And TCG Player, it's lowest price, lowest price. How is it that different from eBay? How's that even that different from like Amazon, really? Right? Amazon is funded by these game stores. That's the iconic master boxes, right? That's why they're so cheap. It's just one dude jetpack game store is always like fire selling them. I think he's doing it for attention because it makes sense. But anyway, that's it. Let me know if you agree, disagree. Meh. Bye, guys.